Well, this is certainly a uh, very um, novel and active area of investigation because, yeah, I think you're, you're perfectly right in that, you know, giving somebody a 10-year um, risk estimate of coronary heart disease is, is not very impactful. And, and, and we really need to um, move towards earlier risk prediction and um, certainly the, um, the use of machine learning techniques can um, better help refine and, and, and I think sort out the different types of risk factors and, and, and which, which ones in terms of say inflammatory factors, endothelial function parameters, um, standard risk factors and kind of um, how they all fit together without um, assuming any particular um, type of um, model fit like our traditional algorithms tend, tend, tend to do and, and um, certainly um, uh, work from shape investigators as well as from MESA investigators, um, you know, involving machine learning um, uh, for, for the prediction of future events um, 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 have already been looked at and some, some papers have um, recently been published. In fact, uh, very recently from, um, I, I, I believe in um, Journal of the American Heart Association, I think, um, that, um, that, that are showing the value of machine learning techniques.